Hi, what's up guys? This is Miguel from Spera Home Madrid and I'm at this HR bedroom apartment located in Calle San Mateo. Uh, this is right in between uh, the neighborhoods of Malasaña and also Chueca, alright? And you actually have three closes, uh, well, three closed metro stations. You have Tribunal, Alonso Martinez and Chueca, alright? The closest one is actually Tribunal. It's at about maybe four minutes walking, but Alonso Martinez is similar and Chueca is a little bit far, um, you know, apart, but maybe six, six seven minutes or so. So, um, I, guys, this is one of the trendiest areas of the city. You can find pretty much a bar on every corner. Just right next to this building, there's a bar. And if you walk in the other direction, there's also many, like, bakery shops, cafeterias, ATMs, drugstores. I mean, it's a very convenient area. It's right at the, uh, the center of the city. And again, uh, Malasaña is one of the liveliest neighborhoods in the area, so you are right at the heart of it. So, I mean, there's nothing you can do or can't find in the area because, again, it, it doesn't get more centric than this. All right, and then this is a nice four share bedroom apartment. I'm sorry, eight, but I'll only show you two bedrooms, all right? Bedrooms four and seven. The other ones are occupied at the moment, uh, but well, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna come back here to the entrance hall first to give you a quick overview. All right, so this is it. All right, so as you come in, um, here's the living room. And then through this hall, we go to the rest of the bedrooms, both bathrooms and the kitchen. All right, so let's get started here with the living room now that we're here. So as you can see, I mean, it has a couple of, there's a sofa in there and another one here these two chairs, there's that coffee table there, another one right there, and that, there's another table in there. And well, actually the terrace has, or the, I'm sorry, the living room has access to a balcony. So let's step outside so you can see it. All right, so this is Calle San Mateo, and again, Tribunal is in that direction, and Alonso Martinez is on the other direction, all right? And then Chueca, it's, let's say, at the other side of the building all right and well just right here that right there is a bar uh, i think that's a museum or something related to arts and well again you just have to walk two blocks in here you're gonna get right to tribunal and that's where the action happens so very well located and then this terrace is pretty nice actually you can access it also through bedroom one all right but Bedroom one is is not one of the rooms I'm going to show you, so that's why that's why it's closed. But I mean, it's a nice terrace. You can step outside, bring a couple of chairs, and just you know watch people walking by. <laughs> All right, so let's step back in. So again, I will only show you bedroom four and seven, but I'll still tell you where these bedrooms, you know, where the rest bed, the rest of the bedrooms are. Here's bedroom one. Bedroom through, uh, 2, here's bedroom 3, and well, then we have to go through this hall, and then this door on the right is actually bedroom 4, and that's, this is one of the bedrooms available, it has a nice double bed in there, there's a table, uh, well, it's actually a desk with a chair, there's a mirror in there you can use, of course, and there's also that standalone closet unit right there and well as you can see bedroom 4 is actually pretty big there's a lot of space in here and well the standalone closet unit has a rail in there for the hangers that will be removed and and then you'll that's just my stuff and then you also have these shelves in here all right so here's another view Bedroom four. Right. Let's keep going. And next, I'm going to show you. Well, here's bedroom five. Here's bedroom six. And bedroom number seven is right here, which is the other one, the other bedroom available. The current tenant is still here, so you know her stuff is is in here. But of course, it will be cleared out and cleaned up before moving. All right, but. Well, in here there's a double bed, as you can see. There's a desk. It has a window to, in to an interior patio. Maybe it's just not the time. Yeah, 
maybe just not the time of, uh, of the day, but some light should, you know, get through it. But as it is, it's just a little bit dark, but you can just use the light bulb and it should be okay. All right, there's also this standalone closet unit and that railing there for the hangers. All right, that's all going to stay in here so you can use it, of course. All right, so again, this is bedroom seven. Here's another view. All right, and now I'm going to show you both bathrooms. This is one of it. Uh, it goes to an interior patio, but it does have the toilet. Here's the sink, I mean the, the shower, and the sink is in here. All right, and there's also a mirror. Well, and this is one of it. Let's check the other one. All right, next, the next bathroom is right here. It's right next to it. And, well, it's similar, just a little bit smaller, but it does have the sink, the toilet. Here's a bidet. Uh, here's the shower cabin. And then this that is actually an interior patio. Alright, and well, actually, the other bathroom also has a bidet. I forgot to show it to you, but it's right there. Alright, and well, last but not least, the kitchen, which is right here. There's, of course, um, six people living in here already, so it's fully equipped. You can imagine that, you know, all the kitchen stuff uh, is in here. Uh, there's a, the washing machine. Here's a mini fridge, but of course, you also have that one, which is bigger. Uh, here's the gas stove with four burners, the microwave oven, there's a blender, the sink. We have this window that goes to the interior patio. And on this shelving we have the plates, the bowls, some of the glasses, silverware, that's for cooking pasta, some topperware, the pot and pan, pots and pans right there. And well, it's fully equipped of course, alright? And there's also this table in here that is basically for either cooking or, I mean, it's the only table in the apartment, so you can use it as you wish. All right, to this other side, so I can give you another view of the kitchen from here. All right, and well, that will be it, guys. Again, uh, this is a nice eight-share bedroom apartment located in Calle San Mateo, again, right in the heart of Malasaña. You have three uh, metro stations nearby. Either of them are at about four or five minutes walking tops. But you are actually at a very nice area where you can pretty much walk everywhere. From here to the main center, it's not going to take you more than 10, uh, maybe 15 minutes or so. All right, well, so I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.